Hey everyone, it's Kelvin. Usually I cover just procreate watercolor stuff on my channel, but in today's video, I wanna try something a little bit different, and I'm gonna show you how to create a sticker effect or mock-up completely within Procreate. First, I'll show you how to create a regular sticker on a plain background. Then I'll show you how to use a photograph like this, and then use Procreate to edit in the artwork so it looks like you're holding onto a sticker. In case you don't have a camera, I put a link in the description where you can download a few hand photos totally for free. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a Procreate document that's pretty large. This one is 4000 by 5000 pixels. And I'm going to go ahead and place in my artwork that I want to turn into a sticker. I think this one here will work pretty good. Now it's important that you scale up the artwork pretty big on the canvas. We can always scale it down smaller later on. And this artwork has a white background. You can see it here in the layers panel. And the first thing I need to do is remove that. So I'm gonna grab the selection tool, set to automatic, and I'll just select the background area, tap on that layer and click clear. And you can see it just cut that out. Now the next few steps are gonna be hard to see. So I'm gonna change the background color so we have a little bit more contrast. After that, I'm gonna create a duplicate of our artwork. I'm gonna select the bottom one. I'll go to hue, saturation, and brightness. And I'm gonna lower the brightness to zero to make it pure black. Now we can't see it because the top layer here is covering it, but the black copy is still down there. After that, while this black copy is selected, I'll go to the effects again here, Gaussian blur, and I'm gonna blur it quite a bit, maybe around 15 to 20%. Now a sticker has the artwork and then a white border just beyond the edge of it. And this kind of blurred out black copy is what we're gonna use to create that. So while this layer is still selected, I'm gonna grab the selection tool, set to automatic, and I'm gonna select somewhere out here in the background area. And you can see if I slide this back and forth, it creates sort of like a border. So I think that looks pretty good. That looks thick enough. There we go. After that, I need to invert this selection. So I'm gonna tap on invert. Then I'm gonna make a new layer. I'll select pure white because my sticker is a white paper. And I'm just gonna drag that onto my selection. And you can see it there. The black copy is still there down there, but we don't need it anymore. So I'm gonna delete it. So at this point, we've got the artwork and then the white border of the sticker. And we just need to add some shadows to make it more realistic. So for that, I'm gonna create a copy of the white layer. I'm gonna select the bottom one and I want my shadows to be dark. So I'm gonna darken it just like I did before by using the hue, saturation, and brightness. And also just like before, you can't see it because it's being covered up. But while that's selected, I'll go to Gaussian Blur and give it a slight Gaussian Blur. And you can see it just starts to show up beyond the edges of the sticker. I think it looks nice if stickers have two different shadows. So for the first shadow, I'm just gonna blur it a tiny bit beyond the edge. Then I'm gonna duplicate my shadow layer and blur the second one a lot more. After that, I'm gonna change the transparency mode of both shadow layers to multiply. And then I'm gonna mess with the opacity of each one, probably lowering them quite a bit, just to make them barely visible. And at this point, the sticker is starting to look really good, but I think the shadows are too perfect. So one thing I like to do is warp them. So I'm gonna select both shadow layers at the same time. Then I'll go to my arrow tool, warp, and I'll just mess with this and make it slightly different than the sticker. And this actually gives the effect that the paper of the sticker is kind of curling. And the last trick I like to use to make this look more realistic is add a global shadow. So first, I'm gonna select all the layers for the sticker, and I'm gonna group them together. Then I'm gonna make a new layer above everything. I'll select black and any kind of bold brush, and I'm gonna paint this over the uh, bottom side of the scene. Then I'll go to my adjustments, Gaussian blur, and I'll make this black area super, super soft and blurry. There we go. And of course the shadow here is too strong by default. 
So I'm just gonna lower the opacity of this layer until it looks kind of realistic. I think it looks fine around five to 10%. And there we go, this simple flat sticker mock-up is done. Next, I'm gonna show you how to include this in a photograph so it looks like you're holding it. And for that, I'm gonna turn off my global shadow effect and I'm gonna place in my photograph. Now, if you don't have a camera or you don't wanna take pictures like this, I put a link in the description of this video where you can download a couple of these pictures I took for free and you're totally welcome to use those for commercial projects. Now, once the image is placed in, I'm gonna scale it so it fits the scene a little bit better. And of course, it's covering up my sticker. So I'm gonna drag it below everything. Now, since my sticker is in a group, I can just select that group and use the arrow tool to kind of position it. And I can also scale it as well. Next, I need to make my thumb here covering just the edge of the sticker so it looks like I'm pinching it. So to do that, I'll just zoom in. I'll turn off my sticker just temporarily. I'm gonna make sure the photograph is selected. I'll grab the selection tool, set to freehand. And I'm just gonna try to select around the tip of my finger. There we go. Then I'm gonna feather that selection, just about 3%. There we go. Now this is really important and it can go wrong because of how Procreate works. This feather dialog needs to go away so I'm just gonna tap on the screen to make that clear. Then I'm gonna go down here and tap on copy and paste. And this basically made a copy of the selection and you can see it here over in the layers panel. So obviously all I gotta do next is just drag this above my sticker. So the sticker here is between. Now when I turn it on and move it around, you can see the edge of my thumb is just barely covering it. And usually when you're trying to hold a sticker to display it, you're gonna try to hold just barely the edge of it. Now this looks okay, but I think the shadow on the edge of the sticker doesn't look quite right. So I'm just gonna turn that off. So if I open the sticker layer, I can just turn the two layers for the shadow off. And there we go. All that's left to do is maybe crop this a little bit, export it as a JPEG, and then you can use it on Facebook or Instagram to show off your artwork in a unique way. If you like this video and you think I've earned it, please give this video a like. If you're new to my channel, mostly I do tutorials about painting watercolor in Procreate. And if you're curious about that, I think you might like to watch one of these two videos next.